Hello, I hope you're having a great week so far. I so appreciate your patronage and support during these times, um, but I am happy to report that I taught um, 45 students last week and 45 students the week before that doing new Zoom online courses. So it's pretty awesome to be able to connect with other people from around the world through art. Here is a encaustic panel that I have worked on and I just decided I wanted to put something else on it so I've put some encaustic with white paint and this is the photograph that I want to put on top and so I'm going to begin by doing a um, underpainting. Here is my heated palette. I've got all my paints melting and um, they're at 200 degrees. So um, some I mix on the palette right here and then some um, I like to have pre-mixed in little containers like this. All right, I'm gonna just start by putting a little bit of blue in the sky. And this has a lot of texture to it, so that's gonna show through quite a bit. And then I'm also gonna put some green on the bottom of the painting here. And just start with that, and then I'm going to fuse it using the heat torch. And what this does is it fuses the layers together so that um, the, all the paint is one layer. So you have to do this every layer, every time. After heating the surface, I'm just gonna scrape somewhat to get this area opened up. And the reason is, is I've got my flower and I'm kind of wanting it to be visible without any blue behind it. So I'm just starting to scrape this. Add some kind of light blue here. Give sort of a horizon line. And even add some white. Just to blend that blue that's a little bit harsh. The next layer I'm gonna add is encaustic medium, which is beeswax with Damar resin and there is no pigment in this. Thank you so much for joining me, and here is the finished painting. I've been working on it, adding some color and some layers, and I think I'll stop for now. See you next time.